Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Hearts 5 4 as Switzerland. Let us continue on from where we last left off. So, France is attacking us. I mean, a lot of these guys are actually like, getting really weak. Like, half strength on these tanks. 66% roughly, I would say, on some of these infantry. How, this guy's at half, half, maybe three quarters. So, we're doing a number on them. I don't think that's in doubt. I really wish this was stronger than like a level 1 fort. But unfortunately, I don't think there's anything I can do about that at the moment. So send an extra infantry just for reinforcements. Belgium. Just If somebody can kill the French. Or the national France could stop being such garbage. If one of those things could prove true, it would help me out immensely. I don't know how much capitulating Norway and uh, Finland would be. In terms of actually giving us anything good. They're 20% stability. 10% war support. I mean, that's pretty good. Gives more organization. More organization is almost worth it, I think, on its own. Army experience doesn't help us. Um, she does want to for land doctrine. Mountain infantry... This is nine infantry divisions. It also puts up to all adult serve, which I kind of don't like. East Switzerland. I think we kind of want to do this. I, I would like those troops. There's no doubt. I would also like the 20% stability. I'm going to go for... Uh, Radiot. Then we're going to go for Saint Fortress Saint Gotthard. And probably maybe try to get our way to assemble these divisions. It's going to take almost an entire year in game to do that. But, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, I still have all my political power. I don't have anything to do with it. Uh, what can I do? I can open up mines, but I don't think I need the steel. I can hold another military parade. Which gives me more political power. What does that do for me? Oh, you know, it allows me to have more points that I don't actually need. That doesn't seem very useful at all. Also like, I mean, I could just like start improving relations with people, but how does that help us? War support plus five percent. You know what? I'll try. I've actually never done. I never sent an attaché, so let's send one to Germany and see what happens. Oh, I get to see what their troops are doing. Well, that's one nice thing at least. I can at least get more information about the front line here. It costs us 50 command power, but that is okay. Uh, can I get infantry divisions on here? No, but we're going to go for some defense doctrines, uh, of course. Actually, can I go with the uh, recovery rate? There we go. That's our points on this. We can't really see how many Germans there are. Chile's also joining the international now, which is probably going to be the death blow to Brazil, unfortunately. And yeah, like the entire Russian army is just on this front line. And I don't know what's going to happen with Mongolia. They are probably actually going to lose to, Jap to uh, Japan. In a really, like, weird turn of events. But I'm pretty sure, yeah, they're probably like a China still completely dead. They're not going to be able to uh, withstand this for too much longer. But I'm guessing you think there's a superior enemy. Yes, and they're fortified. So you're not really... Oh, yeah, you actually won one of those wars down in Africa. I've never seen them actually be able to uh, achieve in those goals. So, 
So Germany, can I ask you why you're trying to push through this line when you could be pushing your way through Belgium? Like, there's nobody here. Not that there's nobody there, but there's no fortress there. So it should be easier for you to break through. So we're at 7.7%, so we're at least reinforcing our armies now. Which we weren't actually doing before. Do I see everything you see, or do I just see your troops? No, I just see your troops by themselves. The international is getting quite strong. You have to admit that. Like, what even are troops? I actually haven't even looked at these guys. No, actually, that's not true. I have definitely looked at them. They're not even very good, because they have militia troops inside of them. Which is not the best. Like, getting more forts on our border seems like a really good idea. Like, how much does this give Like, how much does the defend our borders give us? A moderate defensive infrastructure. But it still seems like they're all at level 1. So I don't know how that's actually benefited us. So you're probably going to die to the British. That's okay. So I am my fall as well. Oh, Mongolia did actually capitulate. Okay, so Mongolia is dead. It probably popped up and I just like did not read it. So Japan. Increase immigration to Taiwan. The Japanese lapdog. You should. Oh no, this means that you don't want to. You don't want to attack Russia anymore, do you? Incredibly disappointing, because I thought there might have been a slight chance you'd attack Russia. Release some pressure off of Germany, because we can see they are slowly losing ground. Like, really slowly. I'm sure Russia's lost a lot of men here. 774,000. Germany's lost 3 million. Oh no, this is counting against everybody. Okay. These actually, these are actually not bad for them. Oh, thank God Spain's going to join the Entente. I mean, I, th I say thank God. They only have like 20 divisions, but I'm hoping that the Entente puts some reinforcements on this border. It'd be easier than trying to do these invasion divisions. Like, I'm glad you're taking Toulon. I'm, ta I'm glad you're taking Nice. But I don't think it's actually helped you out that much. The International just has like a surprisingly large army. Like, I, I feel like it's larger than normal. I might be wrong on that, but I don't think I am. Like, I have seen that the Germans have definitely lost some provinces. I don't know if Germany's going to be okay. I... My, my hopes are not high. Uh, let's put it that way. I mean, I have military access through them. But I do don't have troops I can give them. What are you missing? You're missing manpower and heavy tanks. It's understandable. We're only making three a month. And that's pretty bad. You know what? Let's do two tanks here. Put one less in rifles. Now we've tripled tank production. Seems okay. That is still... What? Two years? About two years until we actually have enough tanks to make a single heavy tank division. Not the best, I will admit. Mountain Infantry 2. Like, I don't want the research bonuses, though. They're kind of bad. I just want this. And I just want this. And actually, you know what? I probably also want active defense. I actually kind of just want... I want everything here except for you. 
I'd much rather have the two times infantry equipment, but that unfortunately I believe is not possible. Destruction speed goes up. An extra research slot. I don't think that helps us. We really are just focusing on defending as much as humanly possible. Declare war on the Qing. 45 to 100 in divisions. Does. Like, only them defeating Russia helps us. We're gonna go for Saint uh, Fortress Saint Gotthard. It's only 42 days. These ones are all 72. We can do it like three times. Fortress Saint Gotthard. I don't know where that would actually upgrade forts. But at this point, it seems like the international has given up on attacking. They're like, okay, we understand. Switzerland is a tough nut to crack. So they're kind of stopping it for now. What about national France? Can I send you an attaché as well? Okay, oh, the max is 50 now. Okay. I thought it just cost 50. They didn't actually know it actually uh, took 100 from you. Oh, military access to the French Republic. Just in case we need to. Portugal, you are also part of the Entente. So you'll probably also go to this border whenever the King of Spain declares. The CSA is looking pretty strong, which is depressing. Um, I mean, it, they probably won't join the Second World Creek. I, I don't think they ever can rebuild fast enough. Okay. And the fall of Rio is really bad. So, Brazil. You're probably dead, right? Maybe you're like halfway. You're halfway dead. So the French are doing another counterattack. We are now at not even 100,000 dead. You know what? That's not bad. South Africa is joining the Entente. Does that help us? I guess, but... Honestly, not by much. Um, it's like an extra eight divisions. Who cares? Nobody, I think. Nineteen forty-seven. Like I, I don't think they're gonna be able to break us. Uh, let's go for a nineteen forty-two tech. So you're pretty expensive. I know I have support artillery, but I don't think anybody else I have right now is has support units in them. Like, I could add... Defense plus 33 is really good. Organization goes down by a, a, a little bit. Breakthrough goes up. Entrenchment also goes up. I have a ton of support equipment, right? Yeah, because I don't think it's getting used for anything. It shouldn't affect them too much, I believe. Yeah, like, nobody dropped in skill, really, so. I don't know how many we need to reinforce. But I don't imagine it'd be a lot. Assuming most of you are... No, most of you aren't the ones with artillery, right. But again, that didn't really affect them too much. That extra defense and their extra dig-in, I think, is more than enough to... 
relieve the problems here. That's 38.94. Got there first. That should get that guy getting there probably means we shouldn't lose the province. Still getting you. You know what? Let's get better uh, artillery. Even though, again, it's still slightly ahead of time, it's not that bad. Yeah, we're at like 475 defense. Enemy air superiority is taking a massive toll. Uh, but unfortunately, there's really not much I can do about that at the moment. Uh, again, unless. Austria joins the war. Or Italy declares war on the Socialist Republic. Both of those would be really nice, and I would really like for them to do it. Don't become a democracy. Invade these guys. Please and thank you. You can do it right now, if you wanted to. Call up Bangkok. I think this means, like, Thailand's gonna die. Like, who cares? Unless well, Spain doesn't join the war right away, which gives the French time to prepare a defense. Which would be really dumb. There's no way they would possibly do that. Where even is the Swiss Plateau? Oh, you're the Swiss Plateau. Okay. Oh, but now you are a level 10 out of 10 fort. Which seems incredible. Uh, yeah, let's definitely get uh, these forts then, because they are... Really goddamn good. So Spain is joining the war. Which should mean that all of Portugal's troops are going to march into this area. It does kind of suck right now that we are kind of just playing like a minor role in the conflict. Yeah, and of course they're in a really entrenched position right now because they have my goddamn fort. Which should rightfully be mine, of course. But yet they will not give it to me. But if we can take the province, we can probably try to push into here. We're now making... Oh yeah, because we built our own uh, chromium. We don't need you. Get back one of our factories. We make exactly as much as we need. We need the rubber again, so let's get you. I mean, Germany's still helping us out, which is nice. Yeah, this is all part of the Alpine region. You know, it's like, I'm, we're trying our best right now, but... How about you only try to bomb their land forts? And by bombing their land forts, I mean bomb the land forts that used to be ours. But unfortunately, we do not control anymore. Like, I think the AI just kind of bugs out with these red lines. Like, it thinks it can push into here, I believe, and it just can't. We're at 97. We got improved infantry equipment. 1942 rifles. Definitely asking too much. So let's go for... Resource extraction? You know what? That's probably going to be useful for the Chromium. And I think we immediately just push back in more. You are a little bit weak. Like, Germany, again, I would give you military access, but unfortunately, you do not want it. Yeah, we don't want to fight against military tank, but we have now... ...taken a province! We have pushed the front line slightly in a favor that is, uh, good for us. As opposed to having to retreat from a single province. So that's, so far, the extent of our war capacity. 
Uh, Russia is still trying to push away through the Germans. Will they declare war on, like, somebody else? Like, attack Don Kuban? They might not do anything because they're too scared of the Germans. Which I understand, but still, I'm a little bit annoyed by it and I wish they would be better at. So we can see that the French have put a lot of troops down to the south. Of course, this is also a fort. It's a level 4 fort, but with no levels damage, so it's going to be a little bit trickier to push through. You're level 1. You're level 2. What if we attack like this? It says it'll take less than a day. I don't believe them, to be fair. Like, I kind of wish I didn't have to defend this one province. Because my life would be so much easier if I didn't. If I push into here, I can at least start pushing through uh, this territory. Are you going to get... Fully occupied non-core states. But it's a core state of ours, so I don't believe we'll actually take any penalties for occupying it. I do believe this this front line with Spain has made their lines a little bit too long. Making them slightly overextended. So I am has been annexed. Okay, so that's now pushed this level one up to a level six. And you're now level 3. Those, that's pretty good. Uh, we're going to go for the Bircher plan now. Try to get, like, 9 more divisions. I believe would be really good for us. Have I done anything in the war as far as it's concerned? I've done 3% war uh, participation. Which I'll admit is pretty bad. Eighty-three percent, like Germany, and now Germany is in my front lines. That actually would not help them. They're actually probably better doing what they're doing, even what they're even if what they're doing is kind of already bad. Because you're now level three, you're still level four, taking a, another province for our glorious Swiss Republic. You can already see the AI is trying to reinforce and uh, reposition themselves, which is good. It's what I want. Um, soft attack and organization, soft attack and organization, or recovery rate and soft attack. Definitely want the soft attack and reorganization. I think that just seems better for us. Are you considering a core state? You are actually considered core French states. For some reason. You are an infantry division to be there one day. And we're still tacking into a pretty big fort. The infantry division here is quite strong. So we gotta, you know, we just gotta look for what's weak. Like, where are the weak points here? This is not a weak point. It's really just gonna be trying to push your way to, like, this river or something and, like, take this chunk. Yeah, that's probably the best that we can do at the moment. But the Commune of France is actually pushing away into Spain, so good work there. On taunt. But I think it's gonna be a good time to end this episode. So thanks, everybody, for watching my Anthem. If you enjoyed, put a thumbs up. Not do I call you thumbs down. Watch me subscribe and goodbye.